Well, good morning, uh, parents of Beaver Valley and children. I'm looking forward to April 11th. Uh, of course, first of all, looking forward to Holy Week, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday at 7 o'clock, and then Easter sunrise out in our pavilion at 7 o'clock, and there'll be an Easter egg hunt following our sunrise service. So 7.30 in the morning, we'll have kids looking for Easter eggs around the church, and after the 9.30 worship, also an Easter egg hunt. So two Easter egg hunts this year as we emphasize staying outside. The reason for this video really is to make sure you understand uh, what we're doing on April 11th, a little Easter program, let's call it that, for our children. Hopefully you all received, brought to your door, this little program I put together called Easter, the table will be full. The table will be full. I want to walk it through with you quickly so you kind of know how you can be working with your kids at home to get them ready. Be here by 8.45 in the morning in the fellowship hall. No costumes, just wear their little Easter clothes, and we're going to have just a fun uh, morning kind of retelling Holy Week. So yeah, it starts with the waving of palm branches, and then, well, the program, I think, kind of spells it out. So a narrator leads us in. It's Easter morning, and we celebrate kids what were we shouting just minutes ago? And the kids can shout, Jesus is risen. So you can already work at asking that question and make sure they're ready for that. And then the reader, a narrator, reads the first portion of Psalm 23. I found something in Psalm 23 I'd never seen before. I think the entire Holy Week story is captured in that wonderful psalm. And so the first uh, eight verses of our lines, excuse me, of Psalm 23 are read. And then an older child says, Jesus, our King is coming. Everyone grab your palm branches and sing. And the song they'll be singing is this. Ho, 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 zahana, ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me and I've got the joy of the Lord. And you sing that again. And then it ends with that little tag. I've got the joy. I've got the joy. I've got the joy of the Lord. Okay, got to put up with my singing there, but you parents can help the kids learn that. Uh, simple little Bible camps uh, melody, but it is really about that Hosanna welcome as we welcome Jesus into our lives. And then the narrator takes over and continues to lead to the second reading, the middle of the, middle of the uh, 23rd Psalm, where things get dark. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no, Ill, uh, fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Jesus Loves Me is a beautiful song to think about how Jesus loved us. And this Palm Sunday entrance into the, the quieter, a little darker time of Monday, Thursday, Good Friday. And so, Jesus Loves Me, this I know. You know, your children know that song, but please look at the song. The first stanza, we sing normally. The second stanza sing ver sung very softly. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates to open wide. And then the last verse sung full voice. It's Easter morning. Jesus loves me, he will stay close beside me all the way. He's prepared a home for me. And someday his face I'll see, and so on, and so on. So you can get them ready for three verses. They probably don't know the second and third verse. And then we move to the end. The reader uh, again brings us now to the end of Psalm 23. And then the narrator leads us to this question. Think about it. A banquet table in heaven for all the saints. Now that's Easter. A house to live in forever. Kids, who do you think will be at the banquet table in heaven? Parents, I really would like to have you work with your children and ask them, talk about this a little bit. Maybe a grandma or a grandpa or a great grandparents or an uncle or an aunt have died already. Part of our wonderful profession of faith is that this great cloud of witnesses, this communion of saints will be at the banquet table described in Psalm 23 in heaven. So maybe, maybe we can pass the microphone during the program. Maybe one of the children will say, my grandma or my great aunt or our old neighbor or my grandpa, etc." Okay, you can help prime the pump there, parents. I need that part of work done by you at home. And then the children lead us, the entire congregation, into our opening hymn on that April 11th. Jesus Christ is risen today. Ah, hallelujah. 
teach that opening phrase, if you would, to your children. I look forward to being back together. I hope, yeah, I hope we have a number of children here. Of course, we continue with mass on at the church, but but um, we're doing well, aren't we? We're coming back together. So, twenty five plus families with children at Beaver Valley. It'd be fun just to see quite the crowd up front. I've got palm branches for every one of them to start this program. So, again, thank you, parents. Uh, a blessed Easter to all of us. <music>